Hi there, welcome back to the video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. Last time, we learned how to use DCN, Deep and Cross Network, to improve your model performance. So far, we have been focusing on building recommendation models and training them. But what about deployment, which is another important step in machine learning engineering practice? In this video, we are going to cover efficient serving with SCAN for retrieval. You may recall that in our first video, when we introduced several Google open source products related to recommendation systems, we briefly touched upon SCAN. SCAN is short for Scalable Nearest Neighbors. For modern recommendation systems, at the retrieval stage, we need to quickly find the nearest dataset embeddings for a given query embedding. Usually, the set of embedding is often too large for exhaustive search. So you would need a tool like SCAN to do approximate neighborhood search. SCAN was open sourced in June 2020, and it provides highly efficient vector similarity search, namely fast matching and retrieval of similar items from massive databases. It includes state-of-the-art implementations of tree-based space partitioning, asymmetric hashing, quantization, inverted indexes, and etc. Due to these highly optimized algorithms, SCAN offers significant speedups in nearest neighbor search for massive and moderate size databases, which makes it perfect for the retrieval stage of recommenders. SCAN achieves state-of-the-art performance on ANNbenchmarks.com as shown on the GLOVE 100 Angular dataset. As you can see here, this is a chart that shows the trade-off between speed and accuracy. On the x-axis, we have the recall at 10 metric as accuracy. On the y-axis, we have query per second at speed. For a nearest neighbor search, high accuracy comes with more expensive search, which means your speed will be slower. In this chart, the purple line with the little triangles on it at the top is scan. So you can see it is outperforming other alternatives quite a bit. Before we show you how to use SCAN, let's first see how to do exhaustive neighborhood search using TensorFlow recommenders. Remember, we are doing a retrieval task here. So you would use a brute force factorized top K layer from TensorFlow recommenders to index the moving embeddings. For context, factorized top K layer is responsible for retrieving top K recommendations from retrieval models then you can use the brute force layer to do exhaustive search and retrieve the neighbors of a given query. Here, we are recommending Homeward Bound, Kit in King Arthur's Court, and Rudy to user 42. If we time it, we can see on average, it takes about 25 milliseconds, which is not bad. But let's see if we can make it even faster. Let's use scan this time. Actually, it's very easy to replace the exhaustive search with scan. You only need to replace the brute force layer with the scan layer. The rest is pretty much the same as before. If we time it now, it takes only three milliseconds, which is almost eight times faster than exhaustive search. And this is on the movie lens data set, repeated a thousand times, which is relatively small by the standards of today's large recommendation systems. On large data sets, the speed up will be even bigger. Now that you have taken a peek at the power of scan, let's see how you can deploy it. We first build the index as we did just now. Then we serialize the model with a simple save method. Later, we can load the model back as a normal Keras model and get retrieval results as before. You can also use a customized version of TensorFlow Serving to deploy the model. The custom version of TF Serving is available as a Docker container image on Docker Hub. Scan also comes with a few knobs that you can tune to suit your own needs. The most important ones are num leaves and num leaves to search. By default, they are set to 110. This means our database is partitioned into 100 disjoint subsets, and the 10 most promising of these partitions is scored. 10 divided by 100 which is 10% of the dataset is being searched. So as our baseline, we get 33.1% recall and 3.35 milliseconds latency. 
if we set num leaves to a thousand and num leaves to search to a hundred, we would also be searching 10% of the database. However, in comparison to the previous setting, the 10% we would search will contain higher quality candidates because a high num leaves allows us to make finer grained decisions about what parts of the database sets are worth searching. In this case, we get a higher record, 96.6%, with a slightly higher latency, 3.39 milliseconds. If we reduce num leaves to search to 70, we sacrifice our record a little bit to 95.7%, but our latency is reduced to 3.22 milliseconds. In general, tuning scan is about picking the right trade-offs. Each individual parameter change generally won't make search both faster and more accurate. So our goal is to tune the parameters to optimally trade off between these two conflicting goals. So in this episode, we learned about how to leverage SCAN to do efficient serving for our retrieval models. SCAN holds clear advantages over exhaustive search in terms of latency, and you can further tune SCAN parameters to strike the right balance of accuracy and speed. We are continuously adding more features to TensorFlow recommenders, and we'll be creating more video tutorials as well. Thank you for watching this video series, and please stay tuned for future updates. Thank you.